Hello everyone and welcome to Solo Cosanova. Let's continue to the Olong series. Uh, I was waiting this tea for a long time. Not because it took some time to arrive, because I bought it on Amazon and it arrived in one day, but because I already have lots of tea in my home. Uh, I should try it. This is Jinshuan tea. And sorry for my horrible uh, Chinese pronunciation. The Valley LT is the brand and it's uh, a milk holong tea from Taiwan. There's no milk inside this tea, of course, but uh, there should be some substances that remind you of the cremosity of tea, the cream, uh, the uh, milky taste. It should be very particular and uh, I can't miss it in my collection. It's more expensive than the others I presented to you, but it's not so much, so you can do it. Let's open the package and see if I feel something particular. An incredible smell of tea inside this package, something like fruity and wood, red berries, citrusly and uh, wet uh, wood, a clean sensation uh, in the nose and uh, let's see how it's made uh, well uh, here it is uh, our uh, blue tea from Taiwan this uh, milk oolong it's uh, really beautiful with all these uh, wrapped leaves I can wait to let it open in the warm water Okay, let's add some more. This is the quantity I will use today. It's about a couple of teaspoons. And I really love the smell of this tea. And let's prepare the water to make this tea in a Gong Fu style. The Olong tea is partially oxidized, so the tip is to use water at 95 degrees Celsius. Nothing more, nothing less, because more should extract too much tannins and bitterness. Let's stay on the 90-95 degrees Celsius. If you want to be sure, take a little thermometer and measure the temperature of the water. In the meanwhile, if you like this video, leave a thumb up, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you won't miss any content like this and help the channel to grow. Thanks! First things first, uh, let's warm up uh, all uh, our tea set uh, and uh, all the cups. It's important to avoid the thermal shock to the tea. And uh, let's pour it all uh, in the teapot. All the smells uh, is coming up. It reminds me of a vegetable, um, I don't remember the name, but uh, it's uh, really intense. Some bitter uh, vegetable, uh, maybe artichoke. Then something sweet, uh, maybe a cake, uh, some kind of cake. Something creamy, like um, cream cake uh, or something like that, it's uh, madness. And always uh, this uh, scent of uh, hurt uh, soil, uh, but uh, really really vague. Let's make the first infusion with uh, the correct uh, temperature of the water. This is uh, the washing water, so pour it uh, over and uh, let's uh, uh, <laughs> smell it again. There's something sweet which is exceptional, something like uh, uh, cake with cream, with fruits uh, and uh, it's of course a fruit. And the creamy, I'm uh, really astonished. <laughs> I can't believe it. And uh, I smell a little bit of milk, something really vague, but uh, uh, there, there is. And uh, let's start with the real first infusion. For the first infusion, I use uh, 40 seconds and it will help the leaves to open up. 
as you can see the water is not uh, so colored it means that uh, the leaves uh, are not uh, quite open in fact uh, look at them they are quite closed but before the next infusion the smells are amazing really amazing i really love it let's taste this uh, little colored water <laughs> the color is not so bad but uh, i didn't expect uh, a light yellow so light maybe next time i will extend uh, the first uh, infusion the time of the first infusion to let uh, the leaves at the time to open up they are really compact uh, and they need the time to open up the taste is too light so i should use a longer time infusion for the second one we should see uh, more color in the second infusion and smells uh, are amazing uh, something like uh, caramel and uh, fruit uh, red fruit uh, strawberry black cherry or um, cooked black cherry for real okay okay i started to feel the astringency on the song the tannins there's something fresh in the taste, something I really like, uh, something that uh, I feel uh, in my mouth. Really, really good. It's a flower that uh, envelops all uh, the mouth. And well, I don't feel the milk, but it's something creamy, very creamy in this tea. I didn't expect to feel the, the milk, but not so bad. It's not an aggressive tea, um, a little less uh, of the other Olong teas I tried with you. Okay, the leaves are opening up, so the next infusion should be uh, quite better than this one. It's uh, quite persistent, um, something I still feel on my tongue. Maybe less strong of the Olong I tried out uh, last time, but the taste stay there on the tongue. Okay, I'm ready for the next shot. Let's filter it up. Okay, I'm using this filter, but uh, it's useless here because uh, the leaves uh, are quite uh, big. So they are really easy to be filtered. Okay, the smells are good and uh, I still sense some of that uh, cooked vegetables, but um, a little bit. For the majority, I feel this sweetness, this citrusly. Okay, as you can see now, the color is changed. It's darker because the open leaves let pass better the substances in the tea, from the tea to the water. Now I expect a stronger taste and on the nose I feel it is creamy. Uh, well, I really love it. Uh, I feel it uh, uh, more bitter than before, maybe because uh, the leaves are completely opened. Before it was uh, lighter, now I can do uh, shorter uh, infusions to avoid to extract uh, all the bitter I'm feeling right now. It's not exaggerated, this was an infusion of 35 seconds. Maybe in the next infusions I will use 25-30 seconds to the maximum. Well, what I can say more, uh, I love uh, this uh, tea. I leave you the link down here in the description as I do with uh, all the products uh, I show you. And while I'm drinking this cup, I'm doing the last infusion with the last water I have here in the teapot. And this is the morning tea because I will use these leaves during all the day. But in the meanwhile, I'm feeling something like black pepper on the back of my tongue. 
Uh, not spicy, but um, it's uh, something really black pepper, uh, a little bit uh, not so strong. And I felt in another Olong too. As you can see, the leaves are opened up to fill all my teapot. And the color is clean, pure, uh, yellow, it's uh, goldish. Okay, this is spicy, this black pepper is fading out, but sometimes you can feel it in the Olong tea. The bitterness is not so strong, but uh, uh, keep the temperature of the water uh, below uh, uh, 95 degrees and infusion times uh, about of 30-40 seconds at maximum. This is obviously if you like to use uh, this Gong Fu infusion style. But will it taste like milk? Well... Uh, Yes, but um, it's not so strong, it, the taste is uh, um, more of a classic Holong. But this tea is uh, very balanced because uh, not so bitter, not so sweet, not so citrusly and it's very creamy, it fills all the mouth. Well, I can recommend you this tea because it's really, really good. Maybe it's expensive compared to the other teas we used to taste in this channel, but it's very balanced. So, see you in the next exciting video.